Project Reignition is a love letter to Sonic and the Secret Rings. For those unaware, Project Reignition is a fan remake of Sonic and the Secret Rings, which was released for the Wii almost 17 years ago. Man, that makes me feel old. This remake is looking to fix the problems of the original game while adding in new content that feels like a natural expansion and not something that was just tacked on to the final product. The first thing done with this game is that they removed Sonic automatically running forward, and you now play with a controller instead of motion controls, which feels like a natural fix. Personally, I really enjoy Sonic in the Secret Rings despite its flaws, but being able to freely move around with a controller now is just so much better of an experience than it otherwise would be. I will say the game is not yet complete though, only having access to Sand Oasis and Dinosaur Jungle, but I will say this, if you own a PC that can run this game, this is a must download. Within the first like 5 minutes of playing this game, I was hooked. Now I may have some bias because of my love for Secret Rings, but this easily feels like this fan project has been given so much more love and care than other Sonic games have been given in the past decade or so. I actually feel closely attached to this game in a sense, not like I helped develop it or promote it at all but it was actually a project I was looking to start making. I remember earlier this year I was trying to learn game design, so I thought to start with trying to make a level from Sonic and the Secret Rings. I don't exactly remember how I landed there, but I did. I worked on it for a couple hours, took a bit of a break, and then literally within the next two days it was announced that Project Reignition was being worked on. It was just a funny coincidence, that's all. Since then I've been rooting for this project and have absolutely loved the care and attention to detail put in this game. In one of the levels in Dinosaur Jungle, you can visibly see a layer of fog on the ground. I would assume that this fog is here because it's dawn right now, but it's the kind of attention to detail that makes me love this project just so much more. Speaking of that, let's dive into what the developers of the game updated or modified from the original. First off, huge praises for the graphical overhaul the game has been given. You can see the fur on Sonic's head, the models for the rings look super detailed, and overall the game just got a huge graphical overhaul which was definitely needed. Sonic's running animation now looks like he's actually trying to run forward and not just some jittering around like he's going to a psych ward, which I very much enjoy seeing. Even things such as the sound design of this game seem to have gotten better. You can hear every little step that Sonic takes. Humming attacking enemies sounds like you just punched them to the other side of the planet with how much of a punch the sound makes. Even the T-Rex sound is amazing. I legitimately got a little scared when I heard this guy for the first time. The lighting improvements made to this game is spectacular. Now I'm no game developer, but I believe that good lighting can instantly improve the look of any game. That's no different here. I mean, just look at the lighting and shading here in Sand Oasis. It makes the game look so much better than it otherwise would. Also another thing that looks great is the water textures in Dinosaur Jungle. They're nothing less than perfect in my eyes. I don't know where to put this in the video, so I'm just gonna say it here. But for the first time in my life, I now realize that these medallions actually have Sonic's head imprinted on them. I don't know how I didn't realize that before, but it's something I wanted to share with you all. Moving on to the new stuff, I don't know if it's just me, but Sonic just feels faster in this version than the original game. I don't know if that's actually the case, or if that's just because his movements feel so fluid in this game that he just feels faster. On that note, Sonic's different movement options feel so much better when you aren't forced to use a Wii Remote for everything. Homing attacking enemies, jumping backwards, even something as simple as flying up the jars feels so much better than what we were given in the base game. There's some new custom missions alongside some custom skills added in by the developers, which helps add some more replayability to this game. The skills added in help improve the overall gameplay experience, and speaking of the skills, the skills are now organized into certain tabs. By clicking on a tab, you can see which version, if you will, of the skill that you want to select. The stronger the skill, the more skill points it's going to use. One of the most useful skills in my opinion is the rank preview skill. During a mission, you can see which rank you're going to get, and at the end of the level, you can see how many points and how much time is needed to get a higher rank. That brings me to my next point. The ranking system has been completely redone. Instead of just requiring a certain time, you now need to get over a certain time and point threshold in order to get a higher rank. I think this is perfect and adds a lot of replayability into this fan project. Also, another side note, trying to get the gold medals is really hard. On my first run through of the stages, I don't think I got any gold medals, even when I had a lot of skills equipped. You really need to master these stages in order to earn that gold medal. Alongside those additions, the HUD for the races has now been completely redone. Instead of a number indicating how far away Sonic is from his opponent, there's an indicator at the top of the screen showing how far away you are from the goal and your opponent. I believe these are custom made for this game, but if not, just let me know where they're coming from in the comments below. 
Also, while you're down there, you should subscribe if you're enjoying the content so far. It really helps out a ton. Thanks. Anyways, when you're on a level, and at any time you pause the game, there's this new status tab. Selecting it will bring up a menu with three tabs. The first of these is the status tab. Here you can view your level, ring count, score, and anything else you want to know pertaining to the level you're currently in. The next is the mission tab. Here you can see what your current objective is, how many fire soul tokens you've collected, and what the highest medal you've gotten is. Finally, the skills tab shows you what skills you currently have equipped. You can actually go into the menu and see which skills do what exactly, which is super helpful in making sure you have the right skills equipped for whatever mission you're trying to complete. One thing I also want to talk about is the music in this game. Now, if you know me in real life, you'll know that I'm a huge music nerd. In fact, I'm working on a video right now about the Sonic games with vocal tracks for a main theme song right now, but that's beside the point. For a couple of missions, the developers have actually gone back and remade some of the tracks, and I just think they sound amazing. Take a listen. Now, I don't really have a place for this in the video, but I really wanted to talk about it, so here's just a couple of small changes that I really liked throughout my time playing. There's this mission in Dinosaur Jungle where you have to carry eggs to a nest that shares the same corresponding color and pattern. In the base game, you can only carry one at a time, but here it seems like you can carry all of them at once, which I really liked. The speed break that you initiate by pressing right trigger now has this really cool orange effect that surrounds Sonic and the screen gets pulled back so you feel like you're flying through some of these areas. There's a skill that lets you turn on the auto run feature from the original game for zero skill points if you want to get that authentic Sonic and the Secret Rings feeling from this project. Finally, I just I can't get enough of Sonic's model. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but it just looks so good in my opinion. Anyways, I'm really excited to see where this fan project goes in the future. I really hope they continue to remake the whole game, but only time will tell. If you haven't played this game yet, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll leave a link down below where you can download this game and play it for yourself. Well, that's all for me today. If you enjoyed the video, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know if there are any other fan projects I should cover next. Have a great day everyone. Peace.